Hi, welcome back to another episode of Geekified. I think the last time you seen this set up, it was uh, for Frank Gallagher, I believe, was here. Uh, yeah, but it's not. We've actually got our new host is here. Are you? <laughs> I'm not, but I'm just happy to be here, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy to be involved. This um, is Kirsty Bryce, by the way. Yeah. Um, thank you, thank you. You may have seen her show up in the Halloween Horror World Cup, if you're paying attention. Yeah, I'm yeah. being like... Who the fuck is that? Like, <laughs> who <this? laughs> No face, who this? Um, I swore within the first two minutes. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. It's uh, Dan again. There you go. I think that's still. But yeah, nice. Callum, how are you? I'm awesome, how are you? I'm, I'm sweaty. <laughs> Ryan, how are you? I'm not sweaty, so I'll say, gee willikers, I'm good, Batman, yeah. how are you? I just, every, every time I get here, honestly, every time I get here, I'm sweating. Yeah. I don't know, and it's like cold now. Last time I came here in the summer, I was just like sweating and now I'm like a glazed donut again. But to be fair, you have literally just hopped off a flight um, yeah. to get here. So. I did, yeah. You've been a wee jet setter for like two weeks. So. <laughs> it's, been, it's, it's, it's been fun. It's been fun. It's been mm-hmm. fun. But back in business, we're back. The podcast is back. Uh, and we're still in the middle of Halloween. Um, yep. So by the time this comes out, it will be pretty much bang on almost Halloween, won't it? Yeah. Every yeah. month is Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we'll get next week. So we'll try and, we'll try and get this out as fast as we can so that we can get next week's in time as well. We'll see. Yep. We'll yeah. see. Well, no promises, guys, so, but we'll see. We'll see. So, <laughs> I'm on it. Uh, the one thing that you, that you have been seeing from us is uh, uh, the Horror World Cup. So I hope you've been watching that. If you haven't, go back to the start and see all the different movies that we've got picked head to head. Uh, and they just go head to head and we pick what one we think is the best yeah. for whatever reason. I mean, there's a couple of last minute ones. There's a couple of ones that I've asked the guys, like, you've got 10 seconds to make your mind up, which is absolutely horrific, but that's how it works. That was stressful. <laughs> <laughs> that was so stressful. There was quite a few surprises that I didn't think, I, like, I didn't, genuinely didn't think they would win. Yeah, I think when you have to, like, vote straight away, you just go gut right in. Whereas, <laughs> like, when you have a bit more time to think, I know we're trying to hide the illusion that we don't think, but... We've got time to record a video. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you can change your opinion within that time, but it's it's, it's been challenging. Yeah. Like I don't know, it's man. Been... It's been quite straight down the middle for most of it for me. I've been mean, like, if it's made in the 80s or the 90s, if it's got a creature it in it. I, 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 <laughs> like, I mean, but there's been, a, there's been a couple that have been a bit more difficult. Lost Boys and Evil Dead was, was difficult. That was, that was. Um, yeah. There was, was another one. Tie. I can't remember what, but aye. But Lost Boys and Evil Dead mm. was difficult but for me, but that was better. It was really cool, like, because obviously I missed out on a couple of weeks, and then going back to see what the decisions were, I was kind of like, oh, okay, oh, okay. It's very surprising. Mm-hmm. It's very surprising. I, it shows you where, like, I mean, there's a lot of the movies, and when I was doing the selection of movies, like, I think it was you two guys gave massive selection. I put some in the ring, and I was looking at some of them, and I thought, is that a horror movie? But then I went online, I looked at it, and they were categorized as horror movies. Horror. So yeah. it was. I will say, I think, was it me that put aliens and not alien? Aliens. I mm. put alien, you put aliens. Yeah. Um, you should, I think I, th- I thought I put alien. Nah, we, I think we, we both voted for they, alien, but you are. put aliens and alien. But, but there's something you said, because you know, I agree. I, I, I was, when I watched I was like, did I put aliens in? Because I was thinking, because I would class aliens as a, an action film. Same. Do you know what I, mean? like, yeah. like, I, I would. Same with Terminator 1 and Terminator 2. Terminator 1's a horror, Terminator 2 is an action. Yep. I would class it as that. I mean, when it came up, I was like, is it me that put? Because when anybody, like for instance, this girl talks to you, show me your best horror film. I was like, Alien, right? 1979. She's 24, so probably not. Like, she brought <laughs> exactly. you, yeah, like this is slow shit. What's, and what's I was, that old movie? And, 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 but she, no, she actually liked it, but she was like, I could tell just when she was watching like, I've not watched Alien in so long, but I watched it again and I was, I, I love it, right? But I was like, oh god damn it, it's a really slow build when you're watching yeah. it with somebody yeah. that yeah. is like. It's a science um, fiction film, that's, they're supposed to be slow builds. Yeah. And I agree. It's a horror film as well. I, I think it's absolutely it's, spot on. Mm-hmm. I feel like, like Alien, all the Alien films are like, classic subgenre mess yeah. abouts if that makes sense mm-hmm. they're just they're just wee frankenstein subgenres all mixed together it's it's, it's mm-hmm. quite hard to they're categorize them i think yeah the yeah. first one was like a slasher in space the second yeah. one was an action movie yeah. the third yeah. one was very in a prison <laughs> yeah. Yeah. weird film yeah. 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 aliens <laughs> for example like, i've went back to the third one quite recently i think it was last year i went back and watched it again and mm. i changed my opinion on like it completely it. Yeah. Like, I wasn't so sure on it because it was so different from um, all the previous ones. But then when I did go back and watch it again, I was like, shit, that's really good. Mm. I've, you know, got, I've got the DVD collection where you've got the director's cut and the actual theatrical cut as well. Mm-hmm. And there's oh, one yeah. of them that includes I've a dog die, and I'm like, I don't like it. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know what I've seen. I, I've, I've watched Alien 3, even as a wee boy, I had Alien Saga. And I'd watch more of the time. But Alien 3 was the one that I'd miss. Like, do you know what I mean? Mm. I had Alien, and 
like a, as a just recently, but as like been into that stuff, I was watching the kind of nonsense that it went through to get made. And it was a different script, different films, kind of put together. How that's why it feels so kind of out of place and stuff. I did hear that exactly what you're saying mm. that on a rewatch when you're not expecting Alien Three, it, it can be a really good film yeah, in its own right, yeah. Yeah. but. I was looking at the comics. I've, I've got right an alien in it, especially playing Starfield, because I've been like, I've been trying to add alien shit into it, and I've been like, oh, how cool would it be if they, because they've got a whole mission in Starfield, but it's basically like aliens. It's called yeah. Terramorphs instead of Xenomorphs, but yeah. it's basically the same thing. Um, and I was like, I'll go back to aliens. And I, I was watching it, and I was reading the comic books again, because I, I, I do all the comics, as I, well, yeah. not all of them, but a lot of the comics. Dark, Dark Horse, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 Marvel awesome did them as well. The, and they were so dark. Yeah, yeah Marvel did cross like, yeah. I'm like totally in the dark when it comes That's to comics. Right. I'm I'm very like I have been slacking on my comic book game my entire it, life, I will be honest. Me too. But, but as a youngster, I had more aliens comics than I did Marvel or mm, DC or anything like that. Yeah. I, I was I had DC I, man. I DC dark, the, dark, gloomy. But the, the aliens Aye. ones go back to the they're really dark. They're yeah. really dark. Like, there's a guy and one of the things when they're traveling in a spaceship, because it's not even so much because the aliens, but the world they've created, yeah. the, the way Earth is, the dy- dystopia of it, right? There's a guy that got a bit of his brain eaten, and, he, and, and, and it's like, no, but he got it done for like some, on a TV show or something like that, like the same way that we would do like Fear Factor or something, do you know ah. what I mean? It's a very weird dystopia, um, and you're, you're talking to it, but the story they've got in the comics that I was kind of going through, I've not yeah. read this one, but I was looking at the, you know, YouTube, some people talk you through it yeah. kind of thing, it's called the Earth War, and it starts <laughs> after aliens. So instead of Newt and uh, not Hicks, what's the other guy's name? Um, is it Hicks? Hicks. Not Hudson. Hud- uh, yeah. Hudson and Hicks. Hudson, Hicks yeah. So instead of Newt and Hicks dying, they survive, mm. right? And they get caught up, and then they start this new thing, and blah 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 blah. They live their lives. They've got PTSD, which is the thing. Thirteen years later, something happens with aliens. They get together. They start meeting. So Newt, Newt's an adult. Mm. Hicks is older. He's got a big burnt face. All this stuff. And That's what Neil Blomkamp was wanting to make, <laughs> right? Yeah. This is where he got the thing from because of the Dark Horse comics. Yeah. And then it leads on to the Earth War, where through different things, this religion. Just sect and different the aliens hatch on Earth and they take over the Earth like a yeah. zombie mm-hmm. film. Yeah. But they actually told to and the Apocalypse, way I was but aliens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and, and nice. the way I was reading that was almost like this guy does it on YouTube. I'll send you a link. Almost like World War Z. It's like here's the accounts of the Earth War. Do you know what I mean? Like, talk, yeah. and I was like, damn, this is the coolest shit ever. Why wasn't that Alien Three? Yeah. Well, segue. Hey. <laughs> Just came out today. Um, it's a. Fede, I can't remember his second Fede, Fede Alvarez. Okay, so it's just come out there today. So Fede Alvarez, uh, he has just gave his movie to. Uh, oh my God, I've totally forgot his name. Ridley Scott. Ridley Scott. Yeah, there Jesus, absolutely <laughs> brain fried. Um, oh. uh, he's, he gave a copy of the movie because he's finished the film. Mm. So this is this new Alien movie. It's not. We still okay. don't even know a name for it. Yet. Romulus. You're on me list, it's, yeah. It's a working title, but have not actually. Uh, all right, okay. Yeah, it's, right. Still, it's still a working title because it was only today it did say that, and I was uh, like, because I, I thought. you should just keep the working title. That feels good. Like cool, yeah. well, it feels yeah. good. What does Romulus mean? I usually know what I've usually got a quite vocab- good vocabulary, but what does Romulus mean? Who knows, but it sounds badass. I like it. Yeah, it just reminds me of the, <laughs> one of his son, for, uh, Roman, from. Uh, Succession. Oh, right. like Romulus and Roman. Uh, like, uh, yeah, yeah. But um, anyway, cool. so Fede he gave a copy of his song to Ridley Scott and Ridley Scott. Now, this is where I want to ask you is what you think about it, because I know obviously we all like sci fi and horror at the table. So, Ridley Scott said he absolutely fucking loved it. What the fucking? He actually spoke. Uh, this is so, this yeah. is a direct That's quote. That's verbatim. <laughs> right. That is verbatim. But then Ridley Scott doesn't really have a lot of love considering his last movie. So if he absolutely fucking loved it, does it mean it's does just it mean as bad it's as gonna the last? Be but then, is this is what they're doing now, where they're getting somebody that's tied? They did it with James Cameron, I was just Terminator, going to say, yeah, right, being like, right, say so something good about this movie so that we can get people yeah. to see it. James Cameron said Genesis, or whatever the fuck it was called for Terminator, was the best Terminator film since. That's James Cameron. This is Ridley Scott, but James Cameron did say. Gina, Gina Suisse, or what the fuck you call what, it, man? Whatever it was, <laughs> uh, was the best uh, Terminator film since Terminator 2. Mm. He also then again, when the next abomination came out, said, No, I'm kidding on, this is the best one. <laughs> the next abomination. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, Tell us what you really feel about <laughs> these movies, right? <laughs> yeah, okay, I, I will. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, so I do think it, it point for studios. However, yeah. You might be able to help because you said Ridley Scott said something about his last film. Did you say that he said it was good or bad? 
He said it was good. Right. So, but then, then my question to you is the fact that Prometheus was Prometheus was hated. I hated love it. Prometheus. I love it. I'm Prometheus. sorry. I love so it. Was hated. So, right. If that's yeah. what Ridley Scott said, this is his his, his saga. Mm. This is what he wanted to make. This is the direction he wanted to go. And if the whole alien stuff is like, but it was hated. Well, remember, said, remember, he done what? Covenant. No. But so I, that's Covenant was, was Did Ridley after. Scott say anything about Alien Covenant? No. Well, it was not Ridley Scott that directed Covenant. Yeah. Oh my. Is god, that? so it was! This is what I mean. Oh my god, Alien Covenant was the biggest piece of shit I've seen in my fucking days, man. Yeah. Right, That's so. why I was just gonna say, like, there's certain people who could come out and say something about a movie and I'd be like, okay, I trust your opinion. Mm. Yeah. And there's certain people that you just know couldn't be paid off, couldn't be bribed, couldn't have, like, their pals, pals, pal come up to them and be like, do you want to see my mate's movie? Yeah. And just, mm-hmm. just give it a wee shout out. For example, if Stephen King says something is pretty decent, I'm gonna be like, I know that no one's making you tell shit yeah yeah like you're not a puppet yeah but then i don't i i i don't know about i don't know Ridley uh, Scott. i just don't trust him because the last of the last two movies were not <laughs> his best work it gave me like a huge drop feeling and i feel like that's what it was supposed to do mm. so can like, I it, it made me feel utterly is hopeless at times um, is that <laughs> Aye, Prometheus. Like, how about Prometheus? Prometheus me, what was that? If Prometheus wasn't an alien film, I wouldn't hate it. I, 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 see, I, 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 I would feel I would feel okay with it. Be and there's some fucking ridiculous bits in it. Like why when a fucking cylinder is falling you that way, do you not just turn to the side yeah. instead of running the whole way? You fucking idiot. Dude, why do you take your you're, you're, a, you're a science officer on a different planet? Oh, let's take my helmet off. Did the like, entire team was yeah. literally buying your science team off a wish? Aye, really. Aye. Right. Yeah, I mean, it was like, <laughs> there's a scary cobra Aye. thing. That here's what I ordered. And here's what face. arrived. Let's yeah. touch it yeah. and fuck with it and take my helmet off. It's like like what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Right, but Cam, are your ears okay back there? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, that's pissed me off royally. We have to remember these are very sensitive mics. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cam's very in the back, he's bleeding like that. Mind the plosives. Like, <laughs> the point is. Oh, that's that's what my point, about. sorry. Prometheus, if it wasn't an alien film, I'd, I'd quite like the whole thing about, you know, uh, Earth creators, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Trying to put, like, Put a square peg in a fucking triangle hole. hole. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> with a with making an alien film made it suck. Ass. Yeah. This whole thing about fucking oh the aliens are actually a fucking experiment for fucking some stupid network. No, like the whole thing with scary alien is they didn't know they came for you. Imagine their home world. Aye, all the that. origin was pretty much unknown. Yeah, yeah they're the perfect so it was kind of like you can't discern how to how to beat them. How what's their weakness? Yeah. You don't mm. the shit you don't you know. You even yeah. think imagine the home world they come from. How fucked up must it be? All that. Thing? And Aye. then you'd be like, nah, some robot made it in his backyard. Like fuck you. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. And, and that, then that's you, what I hate about prequels is that they reveal too much. Mm. Like, but, just yeah. I, you don't need to know the backstory for every single no. character. Or every every single character. Unless right. there's like yeah. deep rooted lore for something mm-hmm. yeah. that you actually want to know more about. And then nine times out of ten, when they do do, do 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 when they do make a prequel film where it is meant to be the origin story of something or whatever. Yeah either doesn't make sense and they just abandon the rest of the films or it just like it takes away from what yeah. you've been left to imagine no yeah. totally like I feel films I are really guilty you, you for you that now on a lot of shit a lot of time with prequel, and it's like why you had the, the lore there you, you had done so well with and it and this is kind of what I was talking about is like in the comic book of Aliens right when they go, like when they explore the Laureate, right, in the comic book, they go to the home world, right? It turns out it's not actually the home world, it's a, it's a world where the aliens have overtaken, so you still don't know what the yeah, home world yeah. was. But there's this war going on with the actual aliens, between the aliens we know and the same aliens, but they're red. Red alien, the, the, yeah, and, okay. but it's like two animal with their own queen, like beehives fighting each other on this planet. Glad right? to know racism's on the yeah. planet. Yeah, <laughs> <other planets laughs> aliens well. are yeah. racist. <laughs> uh, but. I'm not cool. laughing at the concept of no, 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 just the the it was that is cooler. The whole thing yeah. about Hicks being alive, being a scarred mercenary, nuke grown up, they created a cool world in the comics. Why don't you just follow that? Yeah, like, like, yeah. like, like, Alien Three. I think again is another one you could have a film and be like, 
this is a kind of cool sci-fi film, but mm-hmm. really, you know, they'll suck because it was made as another script. Same as Die Hard films, it was made mm. as another script before it got made in Alien 3. It kind of got in Alien 3. Do you feel that they kind of attached Alien 3 to it and just sort of made it like a bit of a caveat on it, the film well, just to get it to sell I think better? I watched mm. something about it recently, a whole you know? deep dive yeah. in it. Did you say and that I, Alien 3 was supposed to be a Die Hard film? No, 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 no. I said <laughs> similar. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, no. Has what? it, has it, dark, die hard had it not been pushed as an Alien 3 film, uh, I feel like people would have been more susceptible to it. But what I'm saying is, every Die Hard film has started off as another film. Oh, right? okay. Every Die Hard script wasn't Die Hard to begin with. Yeah. It was, oh, we can make this into a Die Hard film, let's take John McClane. Apart from the first one, which is a book, already, it's not called yeah. Die Hard, but it's based on a book. Die Hard 2 started as another action film, Die Hard 3 started as another script, and then somebody and the just went, you know what, let's change this, change that, make that uh, John McClane, make it a thing mm, right? Yeah. Um, Alien 3 is the same, I think it was... Another script they got morphed into. I might be wrong on this, might be mixing tunes up. I think it's another script they get morphed into Alien 3. So that's why it's mm. so different to the rest. Mm. And David Fincher, who was the director, had this other vision, but he wanted this basically different film. Mm. And okay, I'll incorporate the alien into it. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Whereas that's why you've got this film about people, like women living in a prison with rapist murderers and mm. stuff like that. And then, oh, there's a dog alien one about. It was a different mm. script about a prison planet with murderers and rapists and a woman in it. Then they went. It makes sense. Like I, I, I can see that. I can mm-hmm. actually see that. And, that's and what I mean is more of a story than actually the alien. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. And, and that's why to me it's not Alien Three. It's it's a it's a, you know the square hole the square hole of it round. Yeah. But then where do you go with it? This is the problem with a lot of franchises. Once you've done one or two movies, like mm. they did the slasher movie in space, so slow suspense, the and mm. then they did the. The kind of all-out action movie and right. aliens. Where do you go? The Earth one. Mm. Yeah. The Earth one. That you go to the aliens on Earth. That's, yeah. that's well, where they, it was. Maybe you have, you haven't built do, that either. They did though. do It'd alien versus random. Random. Yeah, yeah. Like, mm. actually, this. I'm not going to make this a full thing, but I'm just curious. Um, in terms of like monster build, mm. aliens or predators? Ooh. Where do you where do you sit? I'm, where I'm do a, you sit? That is a question. Yeah. Aliens, but um, aliens. Well, I, I love both. Predator can fuck up like fifth aliens, right? But as a cooler concept, especially go back to H.R. Geiger's original design and all yeah. that. Yeah. Alien. Yeah. I'm, I'm, my vote is alien because they're, they're literally a weapon. They're yeah. not like a like a species. They don't. Sense, yeah. It's kind of like. I hate to get controversial here, oh. but it's kind of like putting Batman against like a superhero that has powers. Oh, but, uh, like they, their whole no, but like this this is someone <laughs> no, you, you this, this is someone who has like it's a person mm-hmm. or a thing that has weapons to use, or it's a thing that is a weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but you see, do you know what I mean? Batman did beat Superman even, yeah. Yeah. multiple times. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, you would like me know. We turn on next week. Every comic where Batman beats Superman. I I, here are my receipts. I, do agree <laughs> that. I prefer Batman. I like when Batman beats Superman. But let's be honest. I would, I would pick Batman. If it was in like, the world of the boys or in real life, Superman could just go zzzz. Yeah. Oh my god. Sorry. I need to actually tell you a story of what actually happened. Just like. Wait, real Batman? No, not real <laughs> Batman. <laughs> real Batman. I was watching Gen V. No, Gen- no, no. I've not seen it. I'm, I'm watching the boys all over again with somebody. So I don't, don't, don't so ruin this it. This is not. Boys. A, it's I not a spoiler, the uh, is like the and one. I won't say what it is because I don't think I could get away with describing it for a YouTube channel. <laughs> um, but we, we know that the boys is absolutely crude and it's, it's disgusting in some parts, and so is Gen V. I, I, so I I'm sitting, I've not watched it, I knew that the boys is quite violent, it's uber gory, mm. and it's got a couple of, kind of dirty bits in it and stuff like that. I was like, right, okay, it's not, it can't be that bad, <laughs> this is this is Gen V the college. Have you watched it? <laughs> no. <Apparently laughs> as soon as you up, said dirty like, bits, all I could hear was like... Um, from sex education, you dirty pig. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty pig. <laughs> I love that. I've not finished that. No, not watched it. Yeah, no. not seen it either. So I'm certain on the plane, right, and this is my phone, I'll show you. So I've got the fold, right? So it's like quite a big, mm-hmm. big screen. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm sitting watching it, and I'm sitting this bit, I'm at the window, <laughs> and it's mum and a 10 year old boy on the left. Oh, no. Yeah, so I uh, can't just laugh there. You, no. you must know exactly what scene that I'm talking about. So I'm sitting watching it, and I've got it parked right against the tray table, so it's in full view of everybody. I do have my earphones in, thank the Lord. <laughs> and then next thing you know, it cuts to a scene. If you know if you've seen it, it's uh, her name's Cricket, and she's with her boyfriend, shall we okay. say. Okay. Um, so I'm cutting to that, and it jumps to that scene. I'll tell you guys after. It okay. jumps to that scene, and it is just that <laughs> on screen. 
Yeah. The boys so I can imagine. Yeah. 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 I'll like, tell uh, you after. Yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of like brutal. there was a phase when Deadpool came out and like everyone was watching Deadpool on their flights, mm. on their wee TV screens, and it's like when they're like when they're having sex through all the seasons. Yeah. Like that yeah. little montage. So I, that's a different. It, sorry, sorry. And it's like. <laughs> like there's like kids sitting like colouring in and it's like what are you watching man? nothing uh, yep. <laughs> like, <laughs> I actually remembered that I, I took a screenshot because I sent it to somebody because I was, I was telling the story <laughs> so so please re- please remember it cut me <laughs> so there's a boy on the plane that cuts to that <laughs> do you know that I don't think that's worse though than the one that's actually in um, oh, you, you know what in the boys it's inside did you I see mean, that there yeah, uh, yeah. yeah okay. uh-huh. it's, a bit, it's a bit hard to miss <laughs> yeah so I'm sitting on that big screen like that and that, that sits a wee boy there and it comes up that and then she's going up and down on that Oh my god. I have never See, flung my phone. Not, I was and like, he's talking about an escalator. <laughs> <laughs> it's so ridiculous that it kind of passes the point of even being crude to just being like a, a, I mean, not for a kid to watch, okay, <laughs> not yeah. on a plane. Yeah. But I'm just being, it passes that point where it's like, is this crude or is it just ridiculous? Like, yeah. Yeah. like sausage yeah. party. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, 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 that's, yeah. that's, that's I, yeah, it was all right. Uh, but yeah, oh, I didn't, I, I yeah. thought I was going to love that film, but I was just like, the, I get it. What? These are I, hot dogs, and you can't like a dick. Okay, you're cool. It was like, I thought it. it, it they tried way too hard. Yeah, way too. I think hard. that see if, it, see if he kept it a bit more subtle, it would have actually been funny. Yeah, mm. Mm. it would have been. Funny, but it, 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 it just forced stuff into it, and We've it made got it all. Eighteen all... cartoon. De- Let's just put every toilet joke, every dick joke. It's like we get it, man. We're adults. Yeah. That's why I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the boys. Like it, it's kind of like. No, the boy, oh, sorry, you're talking about the boys. Yeah, mm. it's, it's okay for me. Mm. It's not game changing. I, I, I love Homelander, I'll, but yeah. other than that, take him out of it. It's a bit. I'll bland. be honest, I, on my first watch it, and I'm watching it again now because I've only ever seen every episode once because I've watched it as it's coming out week by week. Mm. And I really enjoy, I really enjoy so, so much it that I do wait for the next episode. Like I really yeah. enjoy the you annoy premise it, and all that. You annoy that. it? You enjoy <laughs> it or not? The, the, the premise, the idea. I annoy you. <laughs> I annoy you. But I do think, yeah, it labours things about our world, about politics, that don't mm. need to be in that world. Like, it's basically, yeah. uh, it's like Fallout or something, a different reality, right? Mm. Superheroes exist, you know what I mean? Superhero are Hollywood, basically. Yeah. You don't need to, like, keep bringing things in about Trump and yeah. about this and religion. It's Aye. like, come on, man. Yeah. Just I, let it I, be what it let is. Let it be what it yeah. is. I, it, like, nobody under, like, stop trying to make an analogy between, oh, Homelanders, Trump, oh, blah, blah, blah. Shut up. Yeah. Right, can, can, can we just be in this world? I, yeah. Instead of, and especially in one of the seasons, they laid so heavily in that, mm. that I, I just couldn't help but roll my eyes every five minutes in the, in the, the show, man. There's enough good in it that I'm watching it again because I told somebody yeah. about it. I'm like, you'll like it, and I'm watching through it. But I'm like... I I'm going to roll my eyes. Homelander is, yeah. is easily one of the best characters oh. that's come out of TV shows. Like, such a long time. Yeah. But in I have not two, seen this. Oh. So yeah. I'm just like taking... He's basically like bad Superman. Bad Superman. Oh. No, 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 not even that. Imagine Superman okay. was a dick. No, but no, yeah. no. Imagine yeah. Superman a was up. a sociopath <laughs> mm. that had mummy issues. I was and, just about like, to say, like, are we, are we like, looking at issues here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, a sociopath with mummy issues, but also... It's a bit of Nazi. With a sprinkling Nick, of Nick, childhood Nick. trauma. Yeah. 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 He, d- he, d- he, d- he does have home. blue eyes and blonde hair. Yeah, you, know that, <laughs> you know that way when you try to poke salt in something and like, the top falls off and it just goes... Yeah. And you're like, oh shit, I fucked it. That's Aye. Homelander with yeah. issues. Yeah. But like, he's also like a bit of Nazi, but also kind of badass. Like, yeah. and, yeah. like, and, and it's this kind of... Uh, like, one of my funniest bits, if you've seen it, you know what I mean, it's such a small bit. I think it's he goes and lands next to a terrorist or, or like this group or something and he goes poof and lands like Superman and then he goes ooh because <laughs> like, yeah. they all get a fright when he lands and Aye. he goes ooh <laughs> he's, 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 he's just that. an absolute dick it's the only way I yeah. can describe Homelander Butcher was great as well Butcher, but I feel like Butcher's uh, that's a bit the, much now the accent's uh, yeah. a bit off I don't a bit oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, one yeah. thing I can't deal with yeah. Like, if it's a bad accent and so on, it really throws me off. Everybody says it's... All Americans say it's such a good accent. It's what accent is it, he doing? It's Cockney. Cockney. But it's, it's not... Carl Urban, though. It's, Christ. it's Carl... I kept on calling him Keith Urban. <laughs> <laughs> for, so, for so long, I was yeah. like, yeah, Keith Urban. Yeah. <laughs> have, we this, have we all watched Buffy? Yeah. yeah. Right, okay. James Masters got an award before for being having the best 
American has an English accent on a TV show. Right? Yeah. I'd agree. I think his accent was spot on. Mm-hmm. I think when he goes, when he calls Buffy a, a daft bin and stuff like that, it's like, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's fucking, it's right on point. Um, Carl Orban, you're like, you're an American trying to do an English accent. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, yeah. and it's so kind of, all right, you can't. And it's like, but, all right, okay. I but just, but just he's from New Zealand. Just take, take. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 you know it, what I mean? But it, I, it throws me off characters, like, when you can't fully, like, if, if they're not leaning into the accent fully and Granted that it sometimes comes down to the resources that they've got. Yeah. If they don't get a vocal coach, if they're not given that kind of resource. Really but funny. then also there's a lot of people that source that themselves as part yeah. of their training generally. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Actors. Do you know what I mean? Like he's, 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 made to be a, he's a top of the top actors in the world. It's like, if you can't do that accent... Don't do it. Yeah, I'm still lost mm-hmm. on Keith Urban being in the boys. <laughs> 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 I'm still on his guitar and his cowboy hat. Well, we could be looking at a good yeah. cameo here. <laughs> country music singer. Ah, yeah. yeah, like one of He's married to Nicole Kidman. When you yeah. say that, country music. Just, he's just a country music. We love country music. Yeah. We love country yeah. music yeah. here. We had a also. country music star doing a vote the other night as well. Uh, yeah. You what? You missed that episode. You missed that one. <laughs> oh, I'll go back and watch that. <laughs> I was actually, uh, I went to see, it's kind of country rock, but I went to see Gavin DeGraw the other night. Yeah. Oh. And like. From oh, One Tree Hill. Oh, see when he played like that song, everyone went fucking nuts. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I bet um, everybody just waiting for that one oh, song. It, like, <laughs> I just, I just wanted, to, I wanted to hear everyone like screaming the lyrics of Charity at back, and yeah. it was like the third song. I was like, okay, what? All from One Tree Hill. The One Tree Hill song I do know to watch it. That, that and OC. So, so fucking good. OC was fucking awesome. But like his, his whole, his whole catalogue is fantastic. But yeah, we do. We love country in this house. Fucking, if it was a different time in a different place, I'd be cowboy hatty, strapped with every weapon you can imagine. <laughs> Give me the Second Amendment, man. I'll fucking, I'll, I'll live out. What, what do you call? I'm gonna. We're gonna see you next time. We're like on the back of your boy boy <laughs> What's those things? Uh, the, the wee like spinny metal things on the back of cowboy boots. Uh, we're gonna see spurs, 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 yeah. We're gonna see with spurs on the back of your yeah, converse next yeah. week. <laughs> On the back of your car, <laughs> yeah, yeah, just I, I duct tape them on. We like gorilla tape. Every just... man should wear spurs. Every man should be strapped with heat, <laughs> cowboy hat, long duster. Fucking Wait a minute, right? What were the spurs for? Hitting the cow, not the cow. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I use them for. But you know, it was different for the cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was to um, instead of like whipping a horse or something just, like that, they would do that oh. to the side of the horse, which it's um, uh, not great. But I just like in the, like, like, oh, in the old great. western films when they walked, it gave you like that ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. Yeah. Like when the, sal- the when the saloon doors that. open up and you hear them, you're like, oh, it's <laughs> about to go down. Uh. Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Cowboys look cool as shit, but honestly, a different day, a different life, I'd, I'd cowboy the fuck out of shit, man. I would. Yeah. I, I'd I'd, you wouldn't. You, I think Glasgow would be the only place that wouldn't look out of place where a cowboy get up. Or well, Texas? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> like, no, but they've got that, but. Everywhere else, you'd think it would be weird to go to India. Cowboy in well, India would be weird. We've got, got a cowboy you know armor. What are you doing with that daft hat on? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, my, my friend's gig was actually, he had his first ever gig last week, and it was at the Classic Grand in Glasgow. Shout out to Classic Grand. That's an absolutely amazing venue for music. Yeah, it's it's, it's that a that. very good venue. But um, it was so funny. So he was away doing these uh, kind of rehearsals and stuff like that, and I went to Witherspoons next door for a pint. And I walked in, sat down in the glass, and then my girlfriend came in. I was like, oh, have you wine glass? And then we kind of went, look around you. And we looked around, and it was about 25 cowboy hats <laughs> <laughs> dotted about in people in, in spoons. I was like, this is was like a Western. any chance the night that Luke Combs was playing? I don't think he would put himself up against Luke Combs. No, no Luke but Combs like, just like the daddy of uh, aye, country but music like, I was just, because... That, that, I do, I do, I, had, I don't have a problem with people wearing country hats, okay? I, I really don't. But I hate up. when I hate. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I have two at home. Um, but like, the I, fake I just, ones. I just hate when, like, see when people just adopt like a trend yeah. because they just jump on it, and yeah. like it. It happens specifically this month every year because every, everyone loves horror in October, mm. and you're just like. I can smell living people a mile away. <laughs> Please yeah. be gone. It Please be undead that's one thing alone. It, it's one thing that actually annoys me is when you do get it to October, it's like suddenly everyone's like, oh, I'm the biggest horror fan in the world. I yeah. absolutely yeah. love yeah. horror. Can I just pick like, up on something? Yeah. I can smell living people. Like, yes. So you want 
<laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> what I'm that saying is, really what I'm saying is, there's people that love horror year round. Yeah. And and we are the undead souls right, of the okay. universe, okay? Yeah, 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 we can right, smell right. the loving a mile away you know, from coffin leaves like, alone. This is new to you sitting like, around like a house I of dead can't, bodies If I can't get a ticket to see a horror movie coming out in the cinema on the night that it opens because someone who's just trying to get big licks in October is in my seat, yeah. I'm yeah. pissed. I, yeah, <laughs> I, very much know, agree I with think that. there was a guy that went to see the Batman film that had that thing once before and just fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Take a turn. Uh, yeah, well, Callum, I think you've got a couple. Well, we've actually got two products on the show. We've got our absolutely wonderful store, Geekaboo, on Queen Street. Yeah. Who give us an item for 99% of the time we can get there to Let's get something. Oh, this is what we've got. Oh. And I've not, I've, none of us have seen this. Told this have you good. seen this? Do you know no, this? No, 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 no. I've just been told that it's good and we were waiting for like natural reactions. So I'm, I get yeah. excited with this yeah. stuff. I'm ready to be wild. Oh, oh shut Oh, you're showing me it's the actual glove. That's badass. Is Fuck, man. That's I want it. 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 I actually tried gloves. my hardest as a wee boy, right? To oh. uh, younger to get one of these proper gloves. I can only nah, find a fucking really fake it, one. Yeah. Like, it looked uh, like yeah. that. That is really? fucking awesome. I'm sorry, but this is like legit. 120 bucks, people. Can, see, but do you know what? Like, like, every penny worth yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, um, let me just see. Yeah. So Are we gonna? Oh, oh. oh. Yeah, Don't put it too close because you're getting, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting that yeah. juicy that's close that's up. But yeah, I mean, like, I know, I, I know we're saying 120 quid for, for a glove, but I, I'm not even. I'm, I've barely looked at it. And it looks can, like a good replica. I can see the quality in it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I can see that's, the quality. That's that's not an Amazon Prime next day delivery no. item. No, <laughs> like, no. that's not no. a wish. Put it out. Like a little paper clip on it to put it together. That is abs. Can I, can I get yeah, it? Go for it <laughs> I love how we're all like, I want that, to touch it. <laughs> I want booth. to buy it. <laughs> I want to buy it. I was looking at costumes all day, and I see, do any remember Resident Evil 2? Uh, Leon S. Kennedy. Yeah. There was this costume of Leon S. Kennedy, and it looked fucking awesome. The pro, And it's like, £60. I was like, no fucking way. I was like, if I buy this, it's going to come through polyester, <laughs> or about that size. There's no way that mm. cool-ass costume yeah. is, is that Did way. they say we can take it out? Uh, did they? No, but... Well, we got Tiffany out. We Tiffany got was Tiffany here. Yeah, Tiffany yeah, was yeah. here, so I don't think... I mean, the glove, not just, just so we can... Yeah, 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 you, yeah. Can, you can actually put the glove on. It's not like a prop. I, like, I it's stuck to the hand. Funnily enough, it's, it's, it's I happen. think we gathered that. It does. It does say this is oh not a toy. Like a glove. It does say this is not a toy. Yeah, Jim Carrey as Freddy Krueger. Imagine that. Oh, my God. I feel like, see if they made, like, a scary movie version. Yeah. Of Nightmare on Elm Street. That's the casting. <laughs> what about Jim Carrey? These days, we always pure introspective went mental. Oh, he's, he's Freddy Krueger. That'd he's like, went. He's went a bit. He like, could definitely do it. Right. Yeah, okay, <laughs> well, all you need he to do is do one of these weird monologues about how we're not people, but we are people, and nothing exists, and nothing's yeah. real, and all that. <laughs> he's just loving the Truman Show now. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. In case oh I don't God, see this you. Is, this is badass. This is genuine oh, badass. Damn. Oh my! There's stoppers on the end of the blades. Yeah. Oh my god, it's like, it's so real. Is it heavy? <laughs> Quite. I don't want to hear Heavy as fuck. Heavy can also be cool. You just yeah, talk I amongst yourselves, I'm having fun. You just uh, talk amongst yourselves, I'm, 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 enjoy I'm enjoying this. Oh, are we close up there? I, I, I mean, I can't, I don't know, I'm just about to see your fingers up. <laughs> no homo. Ooh. This is honestly like one of the best. Tiffany was amazing, and yeah, I can't believe you missed Tiffany because oh, that's one of your no, favorite dude, that's was it from that night, but, yeah. it, oh. legit, it was like five hundred and sixty bucks, but it was like worth every penny. It's yeah. like it's exactly oh. like the movie, like so good. Yeah. She was, was, How do you guys feel about like obviously replicas like that, like props and stuff like that, like? Nine times out of ten, do no harm. But like, how do you oh guys feel when? Oh Jesus. my god. How do you guys like? Imagine they brought out like a replica of like Annabelle or something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know a single person who would put that in their house. <laughs> oh no, no, because I don't like demons. That's, that's I'm like, like, mm. like, yeah, I'm not, I, I ain't trying. I love shit, Halloween man. as much as the next person. But yeah, all Hallows Eve's cool, but you know they're not going to get my soul. Uh, nope. I'm not going to. I'm not going to go all the way on this because I don't want to take it out and take more off. But you can. Yeah, see, that is you can insane. See that the is quality cool of that. as fuck, man. <laughs> that is absolutely insane. So if you're wanting to go like all out at like a. A Comic Con or something like that, and do like Freddy. 
this is this is your segue. Is... I actually, I, I was speaking to a friend today who's actually just kind of got the bug for wanting to do. Does it stand um, up? Cosplay, I think it was. Aye, and um, we spoke about stuff before. He's very committed. He's want to do. I feel cos- like we just keep it as an ornament. <laughs> and I give the, want to do cosplay and want to start attending some of the things doing cosplay. And I was saying to him obviously about this and all that, and I was like, it's a great idea. It could be in. Uh, we could do it together, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But it's something I actually was thinking of, and I was like, obviously it's too close to now, but like for next year, I might we could, we could maybe even help thing about doing like taking a character and do a proper cosplay and going mm. to uh, definitely. This is, this is the kind of stuff <coughs> we're going to do on this on this channel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With, but with, I think with, with, a proper cosplay would be cool. Yeah, we'll, to do. we've missed Glasgow, uh, Edinburgh Comic Con, yeah. uh, and we've missed for love of horror because that's all sold out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it's sold out. That's how popular. But next horror. year. Hell yeah, yeah. Definitely. Well, we're just, as we said the other day, we're just starting. This is what our fourteenth episode. Yeah, Some yeah. Like early heart, days. Heart, heart, heart. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, um, early days. We, but I think if we start saying now, let's do it from next year. We can start planning costumes. What we're going to do each is cosplay. Start getting the money together. Start to get building the costumes. So next year we had a proper cosplay. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah. This seems more like a team meeting. This is what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, just, just ignore change, us. We're just going to plan them. for the audience. Yeah, right? yeah. Let's change it for the audience. So, in the comments or such, what do you guys think would best suit each of us for a cosplay? Because I was having this conversation with my pal either, oh. earlier on, and he said to me, which I was so fucking chuffed with, right? See how you hear all these things about, like, um, men need to speak to each other more, you need to tell your friend I'm there for you, and, you know, men should speak to each other and all that kind of thing? Mm. Fuck all that. All <laughs> men have to hear is what my pal said to me. He was like, do you want to do cosplay? I was like, it was like, what would you do? Before I got answer back, he said, I think you'd make a badass punisher. The first thing that came to my head would be pun- punisher for you, and I was like, dude, that is the best thing I've held for my <laughs> life. I was like, nobody has to tell me anything about, you know, I've got anybody to talk to or anything. Fuck men talking right. to each other. All I need to hear is that you think I'd, uh, I'd make a badass punisher. <laughs> I, I actually see you more as a Wolverine. Oh, really? Yeah. That oh. too, then? I was yeah, doing, uh, you don't, you wear the look at the height. Look at the height. Oh, that would, that would you're, be you're, bad. He's, tall, he's taller than... Uh, he's just a tiny bit smaller than six foot, right? You'd be five foot four. You'd have to grow your hair out a wee bit. I'll, I, I've got that before. I'll actually, I'll, I'll show you uh-huh. my longer hair. I've got longer hair. <laughs> All right, I'm a chuffed motherfucker. But how about we put it up to watches and comments... Any, all of us, put what you think we would make good as as a cosplay. I'm sure we're going to say like, uh, yeah. uh, we're going to have some badass shit. No, man. I'll, like, I, would, put... I would love to cosplay as Abby from The Last of Us 2. Oh, oh that'd be, oh, I'd be like, that's, like, that's what, whenever I go to the gym, like, the f- I'd, my traps are fucking brilliant ah, <laughs> yeah. 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 but every time I go to the gym like um, I literally message the group chat I'm like I'm away for Abbey training ah, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. the friend I was just talking about absolutely loves it like, I feel like I would get though. <laughs> I feel yeah. like someone would be like fuck ah, you we'll, we'll, we'll stand like, up for you so I, like, I was <laughs> thinking Rogue from the X-Men yeah, you get rogue oh. things. Yeah, yeah. I can see it. I can I see like his I will say, but we just talking about Abby. The friend I was just talking about, shout out to Calvin, a boy, uh, watches the podcast every week. So uh, he's a massive fan of The Last of Us, mm-hmm. The Last of Us too. Yeah. So uh, what's your opinion, right then, uh, Abby? But aye, awesome. I, I, I think we could do that. I'll just dress up as Squirrel Girl. That's good. <laughs> I think you should go as a furry. Furry, <laughs> furry. not again. Oh my god. We need Halloween. to make a horror movie with them. <laughs> Every weekend. Freak freak oh my god. Shit. Furbies oh, are terrifying. I'm yeah. sorry. I don't what? see what the. 3 a.m. Mine, I had a wee green one. Yeah. Oh, right. And 3 a.m. or could have been some other time, but randomly in the middle of the night when I was younger, it just went Furby. Yeah. I was like, Oh, God. Why did they all do that? Why Gizmo. did they all do that? Why did they all do that? And it's me eyes and fucking flaps. Oh, <laughs> no. See, see, uh, see, last year when Scream came out, uh, do you know Brett Clayton's got that cereal place? It's, it's just all cereal in London. No, so I really so sto- want to go. Yeah, so it was, it was a shop on Brick Lane and all we sell was cereal. But they collaborated with Scream last year and they released Scream cereal. So it's one box and it's a Scream... It's, just, it's like strawberries and scream or something as flavour. So I, I bought one, right? But the best thing... Cereal that, and a pun sold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take my money. The, be, the best thing about it is that it's the first ever box that's uh, when you open the box, it screams. Oh! oh shit. Do you want to know the worst thing about it? 
after a year, does it at four o'clock in the morning for no oh, reason? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no! So it's this <laughs> right in the back of a cupboard, never so often. I hear. <laughs> I'd be salt in that cupboard, like like putting salt in it. Just, you know, like, you know even Sam, like, even Sam taught me well, man. I'd like salt my whole fucking house with that. It was one of the best Burn purchases I've ever bought. Like, <laughs> it was only like seven quid, and there was only five hundred of them ever made. Wow. Oh my but, god. Um, yeah, absolutely. Not as bougie as that, but um, I really like the. There's a cereal called Feeding Time, and it's the Jaws cereal from oh, B and <laughs> I like that. It's not just a gimmick, it's actually good. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God. Oh it's so good and it's like in the shape of wee sharks. <laughs> it's oh, amazing. I love it because when you pour the milk in, it's going to look like the ocean. Ah, yeah. that's, yep. that's, I like that. I like that's that. cool. So product number yeah. two. Mm. Uh, this is from somebody who I used to work with. She went away and she started up her own business. And she, dis- she amazingly decided to, didn't, didn't even tell me. Um, she came into my work just recently and she made some cookies because she's now a baker. Um, awesome. Uh, made our so logo. cool. Yeah. That is so cool. Let me see. Ba, 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 ba. Look at oh, that. Oh, that. Oh, we've got Sydney oh, over there yeah. as well. Oh. oh my God. Look at that. They oh, are yeah. absolutely awesome. That. You get Pennywise. Let me see. Hold on. My Georgie. So, <laughs> Pennywise. We are making Cam work like Jamie tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Jump around. We better. To be honest, so, my favourite one's just this one. Like, yeah, like the, hor- the horrify one. Yeah, we're going to yeah. we're going to be mm. at our own logo army. Um, so if you it's Trick or Treat Bakery, so cool. uh, it's Tony that runs it. She's on Instagram, um, a Trick or Treat Bakery Company. Um, we'll put something up on the screen or we'll post it under the comments after this. But please go and and check it out. Yeah, there, massive these, thank you. And all for that, for sending my oh, Instagram sure. and that. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much, for Tony. That. And, so awesome. And uh, I think uh, Tony's going to be popping up on screen. At some point, she's yeah. going to get a wee vote in the Horror World Cup. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, nice, so nice, she's nice. going to come in because she's a massive, as you can guess, horror <laughs> fan. <laughs> so she's, she's, she's going to come in, she's going to do a wee vote for us. She'll take uh, she'll take my vote. I love nice Halloween so much. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, great segue. Thanks for that. Mm. Um, oh, I think I know what you're going to say. You know where we're going to go with this? We're going to have nope. Halloween. Mm. No, I think I know where you're going to go with it. Uh, but. Okay. Well, that's, yeah, well, you're going to say the same thing. So same so, thing. So yeah. the, the, the entire series of Halloween, the whole name, the whole universe uh, was up for sale and it's been won. It is now, oh God, with the Miramax. Mm. I think Miramax I've just seen so many names there just as it was coming in. So I think it was Miramax that won it. Yep. So it's now going for a reboot. So we're now going to have an entire universal reboot of the whole Halloween This is universe. not what I was going to speak about. Have we not already had that about three times in the last few years? It's slightly different. No, so it's there were sequels. Yeah. No, but well, no, a no, reboot. They didn't have a reboot. Yeah. 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 Like we like we, we done the reboot. Zombie. So we done the reboot. But what this is was give, this is selling the entire rights to it. So that this is the rights that this Miramax now own the right for the movies, the right for games, the right for TV shows. Mm-hmm. So they're now basically said there's a TV show in production. There's another movie reboot in production. There's going to be a lot more stuff with Halloween. Um, What's the thoughts? I'm, I, I, I really need to pee. So I'm going to say a quick quote. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm an old man. Now, I'm but, gonna, like, I'm, um, I'm, my yeah. thoughts on it right away is kind of what I said before I find it very hard to ever get excited about any of this news anymore when mm-hmm. it's like oh this new company's bought your f- one of your favourite franchises we're going to do it. I find it very hard to be like oh good because I think we're going to get a shit series a shit film and a shit thing I liked Rob Zombies me and my friends watched that mm-hmm. years ago the first one yeah first the first one, one. Aye, the, the first second one you're right but the, the first second one was, one was awesome. a bit mm. but second. the first the, the, one that, was like but the huge wrestler dude they got to play is Michael Myers the fucking, he was genuinely scary Tyler Mann also played Sabretooth for next man Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I, I really liked that I thought it was good I thought it was a good updated version um, everything that's came to Halloween since ugh, not really and if it's going to fall mm. that I'm not too hopeful to be honest that, that was my yeah opinion. because I think uh, they really really split the audience of the last Halloween that came out mm. last year the last, last trilogy yeah, was um, quite Halloween Ends came out last year yeah. and that one not even it was kind of like Halloween 3 it wasn't even about Michael Myers mostly it was about no, it, can, it was still um, him it was, it, was, it, was, <coughs> it was about a psycho boy yeah, yeah, but, yeah, it, was, but it, was, it was still him. I it? really enjoyed it, right? I'm one of the few that you know is, loved this movie. Um, it was completely different. That's what the fans have been clamoring for, something different. But then there's mm-hmm. with Halloween, there's the fans that want just a Michael Myers movie. Yeah. I've just seen him fuck people up. This was something completely different. And I think people look back mm-hmm. in it with different eyes in years to come. 
So I, I like Halloween. Yeah. I do enjoy the movie. I enjoyed all the movies. I, I, I was never the biggest fan in the world of it. I thought it was great horror and it's still iconic and all I right. completely see that and I've, I have watched it loads of times. But I thought that at that Halloween ends was one of the best ones for me. Yeah. Because it, you're, for me, it was totally different. It was really bizarre. It was a completely different look on it. It made Michael Myers real. Yeah. It's like, how do everyone was like, oh, it's just stupid shots of a town and all oh, you're just seeing people complain. They're all behaving stupid. That's how people would have actually yeah. behaved if this happened. Yeah. It was all very real and it made it very gritty and raw. I think the, the, <laughs> the problem that a lot of fans have is that, you know, there wasn't a lot of Michael. There's never really mm. been a lot of Michael in the franchise. If you look mm. back at each yeah. movie, screen time is very short. Which is quite impressive which is considering awesome. they built a franchise. What, a, what a presence he has. Yep. Even when he's not on screen, you just always assume that he's there yeah. somewhere. And I think it was like, the fact that they killed him off. People in that movie where yeah. it's not really focused on him, that that's what bothered people. Whereas if you take that out and have it like a season of The Witch, mm. it's still part of mm -hmm. the canon but there's no Michael Myers in it, it would have been so much See, I, more I, received, I think. I can, I can, I think they, they completely killed the both uh, opportunities to continue it. So there was a boy who was doing the murders. Corey, yeah. Uh, or it was Michael Myers. They literally got rid of both of them, which mm. I thought was really bizarre. <laughs> yeah. I was like, for me, that would have been longevity and adding a little bit more of a lore if they left the boy and that was like, the new Michael Myers. At least a pathway for it to go next. I think mm. because they knew they were doing free, they were like... Yeah. we got to sign it off here. Yeah. I think... I just, I, I feel like the 2018 Halloween, mm. I feel like, was right. pretty good. Mm. I like what it did with Laurie's character because yep. it very much, I feel like it kind of, it felt similar to see what we saw Sydney do and Scream yeah. when she had like the, the password on her gate and like full lockdown and all that. Obviously, Laurie took it way, way further. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, as she would, because she's a bit of a badass, but I liked what it did with her. Mm. And then I thought the way that that ended was really, really cool. Mm. Yeah. The second one, when it was picking up straight away, I was like, oh, this is great. Mm. This is going to be, like, fully in it. And it just, it really, really dipped. Mm. And Halloween Kills for me. Yeah, it was an all-out slasher, really, that didn't really care about yeah. story. Yeah. And then Halloween Ends, I loved the opening scene. I loved. I, that one. I, I loved boy. like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. what happened to the wee boy and what really gave it was Corey, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, Corey. Corey is the yeah. babysitter. Yeah. yeah. So I love how you kind of got a backstory as to how he got the reputation as such that he did in the town. Yeah. But then something that really, really I didn't like was that this has been a full legacy of films a full legacy of characters, if we were going to see a Laurie Michael showdown, it should have been better. Yeah. It shouldn't have been mm, no, I agree. six or seven minutes in a kitchen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was bad. It was a badass scene, yeah. but it just I, wasn't enough. It was no. badass. And I, I've, I heard did, scene. I've not seen it, but I've heard yeah. it. It's a great scene. It's, it, it's, it's done very well, but yeah. it's just in a kitchen. But it, it truly shocked you. See when, oh, I can't spoil it, you're not seeing it, but see when the, the final outcome yeah. happens, you're like, holy shit. Don't, was... don't watch this episode, Ryan, because we literally just spoiled it two minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, the last, uh, uh, last Halloween I watched was Rob Zombie one. Uh, and... Oh, yeah, so I actually moved out there, so I was not there. Right. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I actually um, really enjoyed the Rob Zombie one, uh, and I really enjoyed that, the mm. original. Mm. There's not... I, the, Halloween 2, I don't even love. Like, I, I, I really... I great. like Halloween... I Oh, it anyway, because there's a Halloween. Sorry, I actually made a misspoke there. Halloween two is the one where it's in the hospital. Picks up and it, I, mm -hmm. I, I, I do like Halloween. There's another Halloween that I don't like. But Season of the Witches number three. Which no, that's the one where it's the masks. That, that, that's that that's, even that's not not associated with. Yeah. But there's one yeah. where not much happens, and I didn't like it. It's one of the older ones. But there's a lot of the ones each. It all jumps about, and I know a lot of horror ones mm -hmm. like that. But the Rob Zombie one I really liked. Mm. I like the. I know I'm always going on about this stuff, but. The imposing nature of the guy, mm. the seven foot monster yeah. of Michael Myers. I was like, that's a real mm. Michael Myers. Like, mm. um, his physicality, yeah, his like, yeah. 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 what I was looking yeah. for. Like, I, yeah. He's, but the, he's such a presence. The new ones, it's, I don't know, man. I don't like this whole thing recently in horror films where we need to feel sorry for the bad guy. Can I hang? Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's like sometimes the bad guy is just a fucking bad guy. Mm. Mm. Can we not? Do you know what I mean? Nah, like, yeah. um, Why do you need to humanise them so much? Yeah, it works with some characters like Thanos and that. that it, well, this is why a lot of people do it. It works when you've got 
like a maniacal madman tiger. Mm. It's good to see his point of view. So yeah. you can be like, oh shit. But when you've got like a horror mm. monster that is just, I don't need to know he's mm. like, why? Yeah, that's what makes him scary that you don't know mm -hmm. uh, about. The one thing to bring it back to the topic that we were going to bring up about it, mm. the TV shows and the movies, mm -hmm. you know, the plan was originally to make it an anthology series. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that's the way to go. We've mm. had a trilogy in recent times of mm -hmm. the Michael Myers trilogy. Mm -hmm. We're mm -hmm. going to do Halloween movies, just have them being standalone or a TV series where every episode's different. Mm. So that's what the original plan was. Halloween was originally supposed to be one film mm. and done. They mm -hmm. made a second one because it made so, so much money. The studio wanted another one. John Carpenter didn't want to do it. We all know that tale. Um, but he then was like, right, I'm just going to fuck this up because mm -hmm. I don't want to make another one. Yeah. Um, and then they made Season of the Witch because they were like, right, we're done with Michael Myers. Let's move on to something else. And I think yeah. they could definitely turn it into a slasher mm. yeah. series. I agree, kind of, right? It's the same thing that happened with Heroes in a different way. Heroes is also meant to be a saga anthology of different characters every every season, but people like the first characters are Siler and Peter Petrelli too much mm. that it's like the producers are like, you need to keep these characters yeah. and mm. write them yeah. back in. I understand that's who Halloween was supposed to be, but Halloween was so many years ago. When you say now Halloween without it meaning the date, when you say it meaning the film, everybody knows what Halloween is and no Michael yeah. Myers. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think now try to make it an anthology doesn't work because Michael Myers has been such a, an icon for what, how many years, right? Yeah, so 15? I think if you call it on... 1978, so uh, it was... Uh, since the 70s, but do you know yeah, what I mean? 40, yeah. 40, 45 years. But I think if you called years. it something like, like Tales from Halloween, right? Like yeah. make it, okay, this is Halloween, but it, like an anthology, Tales from, but what, Tales I, from I, Halloween. I'm, I'm intrigued make it, to know if they're going to be separating it from Michael Myers, I want to know where they're separating it from Haddonfield. Well, that's that's the thing as well mm. because because they really verged, that, they leaned into this idea that it's it, not just Michael Myers that was terrorizing the town; it was the Michael town Myers. itself. To do now, or oh, Halloween without Michael Myers, everyone goes, "Well, we want the creepy music, we want the da -da -da -da. we yeah. want the Michael Myers." Yeah. If you were to make it a new thing, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Make, do, you're doing an anthology. If you want it connected to the Halloween, call it something like, as I said, I think it's, it's going to be a complete. Re but don't make Halloween and then make it without Michael Myers. Yeah. Nobody wants that anymore. But I think you did what you said about the Haddonfield thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They did it with Stephen King. Yep. Uh, I can't remember the name of the, the series. It was a Stephen King thing, but it was all, all of them based in one town. Mm. It was like it was, his, it was one of his new series. It was about like five years. Would have been somewhere oh. in Maine because Maine, all of his. It was one town. I have visited Maine. I can see. I can see the appeal. <laughs> but what, what I'm saying is like, we've just had a trilogy of Michael Myers to then go back and do a reboot. Or something completely mm. new again with Michael Myers. Is it going to put people off and be yeah. like, No, I agree. We've got to remember not everybody's like us. Yeah. We don't, not everybody is like a pure horror aficionado that's into everything about horror and the cat. Mm -hmm. Some people just want to go and see a movie. You know again? Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and this is a problem we, we've got right now with Marvel and all that. We spoke about a few times. Like, I went to literally sitting with a girl and I was going to show her, what was it? It was a Marvel thing. It was Guardians of the Galaxy 3. And, and I was like, it was actually good. No, I, no, I, I, really I like quite liked Galaxy. it. No, no, I quite I liked it. Galaxy, Galaxy 3. That's not my point. I love as the only Marvel film really in the last few years I've really enjoyed, right? Properly, really enjoyed. Shang Chi. <coughs> Shang, <laughs> Shang Chi. Shang Chi. <laughs> nah, I was, but the point is, we're sitting in front of the thing, and I'm like, have we seen Guardians one? Yeah. We seen Guardians two? She's like, put on Guardians three, and I was like, ah, I was like, you've not seen, but she's not seen anything else, mm. right? So I'm like, you've not seen the Guardians. Christmas special, you've not seen Loki, you've not seen this, you've not seen... Mm. So when There's she goes... Gaps. I, I was like, if you go for Guardians 1 and 2, they all make sense. Mm. You're going to go to Guardians 3, and you're going to be like, why do they own the place now? Why are they two brother and sister? Why is this? Why is they talking about some otherworldly threat called Thanos? What is mm. going on? And I realised, I was like, fuck, Marvel has really fucked up. The way that I used... And I've said that for ages, but... The way that I used to praise Marvel for saying you had 18 or 22 movies that all connected, and I was like, that's such an amazing feat, right? Mm -hmm. But now that encompasses TV shows that are, uh, what, 12 episodes, six, 12 episodes mm -hmm. long, uh, not just one, but a few, I was like, God, 
now that it's homework. Yeah, it's homework. Now it's not You're like... either all in or nothing. Yeah, but, but mm. now just a brilliant film like Guardians 3 that I know this lassie would have loved because it's about like even the wee cute things in it, the animals, I know it should absolutely die oh, for it. Yeah. But I'm like, how are you going I'm to watch that? <laughs> that no, exactly, exactly my point. But I'm like, how are you going to watch that and I'm going to be stopping it every five minutes to go, by the way, they're brother and sister because of this. By the way, you missed this in the Christmas special. By the way, you missed this in Loki. Yeah, by the way, you missed... Yeah. And I was like, oh, the thing that they started, that was a big feat, now is one of the downfalls because now you need to watch all these TV shows and stuff. Is this yeah. a da- the danger of universe building? That's, that's yeah. it. I mean, if, doing, mm-hmm. if we do end up getting the, at this Halloween universe rather than it actually just being another, just a, se- a series or whatever, if we're going to get a universe... Then but you can keep the universe happen. smaller. Look at the Aliens universe. Yeah. Right? I was just speaking about. See if we got the Alien Three film. Well, I thought about yeah. that, right? But say we got the Alien Three film where um, Newt and Hicks yeah. go to Earth and blah blah. See, it was a saga. Four films. We would still have that Alien universe, right? And you mm. can still tune mm. into that. The minute you start uh, like putting four or five different TV shows and this and that and a Christmas special and a trailer and all this yeah. kind of thing that you need to be part of, it's too much. The, World building's an amazing thing, mm. and I think some things really do it really well, like the Aliens universe, like things... John Wick. John Wick, yeah. yeah. Great universe yeah. building. But, but John Wick's still in the thing right now. Four films in, I don't, I've not seen the TV show, but it's enough to... It's be, a bit me. Yeah, oh, right. for but, fuck. but it's um, yeah, it didn't really work. But it's as... enough to be a world. Is what I mean, what I mean is, like, see, you see another Hassan in a John Wick's universe. You Hang know on, enough pause. To... Is that the is John Wick the TV show the? Oh, uh, is it the no? But what's? Oh, what, it's the hotel. It's based on the hotel that. Yes. Yeah, right. Okay. I know what you yeah, so it's, it's, ba- no, based it's, it's based on that. It's when it becomes a continental. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. going to be interesting. What I'm saying is, it's still enough in that universe that you mm. you can go in it. I mean, Marvel get too. It's too much because mm. before I've done the same way. I get before and watch through the eighteen films, the the the, the kind of first two phases, first three phases. Mm. That's doable when mm. it's film which you can watch yeah. but now that it's TV shows and Christmas specials and blah 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 it, like for instance I watched Guardians 3 again with my friend who loves Marvel right and we're sitting watching it but he hadn't seen the Christmas special and he's like why are they bothering yeah, why are they, they get, own I, that I, yeah. and I'm like right, that's that's I too much I do get that I, I personally I, I would like I, I'm okay with another reboot of Halloween. I'm okay mm. with seeing someone else who's taking spin on it. Do you think I it's too soon? Absolutely. I don't I suppose if like, that's it just been yeah. bought, yeah. I would like to think we're a few years out oh, from definitely. seeing it. They're not They're not just going to hash bash something together. Well, yeah. I just not don't when they've been given this. Did. So they might but, do it again. Oh, you've like, got years. It'll, it'll aye, take, take them a good few years. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All that, okay. So the appetite for Halloween might have might have come back to a point where they've yeah. Well, you can pick Michael Myers in Fortnite now. Oh, yeah. oh my God! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's also, so good. The Dead by Daylight and all that as well. Yeah. But that's a. It's but like, Ryan and I had a wee game the other night. Of course, uh, Texas no Chainsaw. Texas Chainsaw. Oh, right. <gasps> um, is it good? Yes. It is is good. It good? I, I've got that. It is good. It's also crossplay, so you can. I, d- I died within two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so especially oh, me watching Ryan, and then he died, and then that we're would like, be me. <laughs> well, yeah, what you on? Uh, I'm a PS5. Right, yeah. it's, it's yeah. so we can we can actually all get a game of that because nice. Okay, yes. okay. Uh, but there's there's three games. For <laughs> have, have you got have you got big club hands for your PS5 controller? <laughs> 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 the Xbox no. controllers, no. the no. Xbox controllers, massive compared to the PlayStation. I used to be a PS5 guy, and now I'm Xbox and PC. So like I, I totally I, I would I, love a game on PC. Yeah, well, mm. they, they, I get mine for cheap just by buying it off a guy who had bought it all, then moved in with his bird and got a baby and was like, I need to sell it. Just find <laughs> anyone that's just had a kid to buy any really good stuff. <laughs> but, um, off, so if you're selling gaming PCs for yeah. four, um, but, we'll so you. If you've just moved in with your partner, <laughs> <laughs> we'll buy all of this. These, what they're called, not anti symmetrical, but they're called, I can't remember, but basically it means that. One person is like one guy, and the rest is against the rest. Of yeah. Them. So you've got Friday the Thirteenth, Evil Dead, and um, Dead by, by Daylight. daylight. Uh, Dead by Daylight to me is a wee bit boring because you're always in the same bit, and you always graphics look shit as well. Things. But you always mm. need to just repair these generators, and that's all you do. My favourite one is Friday the Thirteenth. It's such a shame that it went through all this court case and all this kind of thing with the guys. It's the guys that made the Texas Chainsaw. The reason mm. they made Texas Chainsaw is because they went through this court case with Friday the Thirteenth game. The rights and all that. So we're like, bugger it, we're going to make Texas Chain. So the Friday the 13th is just so pure and fun. Somebody goes, Jason, you've got fucking eight other council members and it's just in the big place and mm. Jason just uh, has to hunt them down and you've got all these pills of Jason. During lockdown, 
I played it with my pals. Some guys don't even usually play the PlayStation or whatever. And it was just hilarious. Just people mm. screaming. Yeah. You just did the mechanics of it. You can't hear people till you're close at them. And oh, you get closer. they got proximity chat and, and all that. And, oh, and what happens to people that. that are survivals is when you get closer to Jason, it starts playing the Jason music. That's what we would say to each other. Oh, and you're up for some ch 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 cha cha cha. The right. Because we're like, and cha 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 cha. Have you seen you can get earrings like that? Sp- it's Spanish like Jason's. <laughs> Jason! That's French. But you would. But you would see them, I was playing Jason, I was one of the only guys that loved playing Jason, but you would see them in a wee house because it plays right when you would get closer and you would just hear them going, I can hear it, he's coming, he's the other thing, and you'd be like, shh, 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 shh. and then you can say to them, I can see he's in that. But unfortunately Friday the 13th is lost, because of the court case, it's lost, it's, um, it's basically been cancelled as a game. I think you can still play it if you've enough people, but you can't play it online anymore. Right. So, so like, but what I was saying is, we could technically play it if we could get some people from Geek of Five for us or that. Yeah. If we had seven or eight years, we could log on and play it. And because mm. the game now is cancelled, it's a cheap ass game. It's like three yeah. quid for the whole game. Yeah. If we could get eight, eight years, we could play a game and have a, a really thing yet. Someone sort that out. Just send us a message and we can come on and play with some of you guys. We need, so we need more people. Great to me. But, uh, uh, what's the thing you keep saying? Not syntax. What's the. Um, I have no idea. Forgot the word, man. We're just using it. Anyway, that leads nicely <laughs> into what we were talking about. We're going to make a Discord and stuff. That yeah. might be something we can yeah. get to about game. We're going to uh, set up a Discord, et cetera, et cetera, so that we can have people coming in and doing the kind of game and things yeah. and create a bit of a community there. But we'll get back to you about that. Yeah. <laughs> just while you were talking about gaming, how do we all feel about the potential for a Halloween game then? If if they yeah, do have the awesome. rights of everything. As long as like, it's good. Yeah. Mm. That'd be I, cool. I, I, it sounds like a good game. It'd be I a don't know. Game, game like yeah. that, I like. I, th- I think I don't think it would be like. I think it would be a very straightforward game, as in like there's yeah. a start, there's a middle, mm. there's an end, and that's how it works. I don't think you would be able to branch out much with it. I think it would have to be quite streamlined. I would, yeah. be, I would um, definitely be one. They're of those not going to open the world games. up a wee bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. what yeah. I mean. And like, I, think I would love to see Haddonfield created in a game, but like. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, I, I wouldn't want it to be just like the other games. I'd like them to do something do a little something. bit. Well, that's why you could do a Freddy be. game because like, he can get in his dream, your dreams so he could go mechanic. anywhere. Oh my God. I'm sorry about Freddy versus Jason. I, I love that I movie. love that film too. I loved it. My whole school was so good. Hated. It Got was, your nose. <laughs> <laughs> it was hated. Dark meat. <laughs> <laughs> it was hated for so long, but I think it's kind of got this cult following yeah. now where it's yeah. appreciated a bit more. Uh, the guy getting was... sandwiched in the bed. Uh, oh. The best one for that is... Uh, when he's, I, I just love the wee smirk on his face when he's like, holding his head. He's just like... Uh, he's like, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> like what is the Friday the 13th? It might even be the one where he's in space, but at the beginning of it, when he picks up the, pe- the person in the sleeping bag and just starts smashing them. <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, that do you think that's where they got the idea for Hulk and Loki? Maybe they yeah. just, they just they saw that and went, we could do that. that but very better. similar. Good yeah. segue. Has anybody seen Loki? Yeah, I've seen the first two. Episodes. I've seen the first no, two. No, well. I've been. I was gallivanting for two weeks. Uh, so I have not. Seven. I'm not loving it. But I'm not hating it. No. It's actually had a few mm. good moments. Uh, there was an actor in it that was really cool. But we'll watch it and we'll see what you your opinion. I'm going to dip out to go to the toilet. Well, we're, we're just going to wrap. Oh, wrap up. Oh, yeah. I will stay. Oh, we're going to wrap Hold. Up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so hope we'll come back next week and hopefully we'll have caught up in a, a little bit more. But hopefully, another episode of Loki will be out. Um, and From, please, somebody watch From. It's a From. It's a, from. Why yeah, does that right. ring a bell? It's, it's the lost one. Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a, from the makers right, of Lost. Right, I think right, they're right. trying to redeem themselves for the absolutely cataclysmic, oh. horrific entity that was actually lost. Um, but uh, if you watch From, I'd love to chat to you. You're such po- a casual scold there. <laughs> oh my Sorry, God. I, I, but I like the casual scold. <laughs> Uh, I have one for you as well. A very kind of horror. What was the film? Uh, the alien film that's out there now. The um, you will never. You, you old, can't take uh, me away. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. The one that's yeah, just. Like, it's, you, it's not great. You will never be safe or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what, God, what is the name of that film? Right, so we'll leave this one next time. Yeah. I watched it. I still don't know how I feel about it because there was a lot. Yeah, it's a very different, a I, weird film. In I some want ways. to watch very it weird. again. What? Yeah, so watch it. Well, yeah. I don't want to ruin mm-hmm. things. No one will save you. No one will save no you. No one will yeah. save you. Yeah, there we go. I am still trying to say whether I liked it or not. Mm. Put it that way. There's yeah. bits I like in it and there's bits I was like... I quite like that. Yeah. I feel like I, I care about the genre so much that and I have so much passion for it that I'm not entirely bothered if they start making horror 
or even subgenre horror films that everyone loves. But if no, they I, if I'm they lucky. if they care enough to have an opinion one way or the other, mm, well, I'm, I'm happy totally with that. This is a bit there because it was definitely made in a certain way. It's definitely made with a vision. Aye. I don't know whether I like, but but yeah, I agree. Aye. What they seem to be doing right now? Sorry, I know we're so going to wrap, wrap up. I know um, they seem to be making like they had that film recently where it was Back to the Future, but it was a slasher. What was it called? Um, oh. Balls. Uh, totally killer. Ship, 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 yeah. I don't even watch that. Like, rubbish, that. but they've they've made one that's the what's the film that you watch at Christmas? That's a wonderful life. They've Campus. made it's a wonderful <laughs> knife. Oh, oh, oh I kinda so love it. That's a kill of the I love a pun. It looks <laughs> it looks horrendous, but yeah, we'll leave it at that. Yeah. I just yeah. so in. just a reminder for next week, uh, Daredevil Born Again next week. Yes. And yeah. if we could all watch Fall of the House of Usher. Yes. Yeah, we're so all we could every... have a wee Mike Flanagan. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna have an You're like, I want the grudging anymore. <laughs> 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 I've been trying to try close for that, haven't I? <laughs> 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 So, yeah, we're going to have a lot to talk about next week. If you want us to watch anything, by the way, at any point in time, just put a message in the comment. We'll get the whole team to watch it and we'll discuss it. Uh, and we will do more reviews. We've got more reviews we're going to do as well. Mm -hmm. But that's it from us. Thank you very much, Tony at Trick or Treat Bakery. Please have a little look at it. If you ever want any cakes or anything like that, thank you very much. And again, Geekaboo, yep. Yep. another mind-blowing item. Touch it. Yeah. Another mind blowing <laughs> item. It is honestly one of the most. It's one of my favourites. I will say that it's one of my favourite yeah, ever items I've seen. Yeah. If you buy that, please let us know. Yeah, so we can live please. vicariously through. Yes, <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, tell us who you get it. Or and if you want um, to buy it for us. Then. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, thank you very much from me. And thank you, Callum. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you, Kirsty. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. And thank you. And remember, cosplay ideas <laughs> in tears. And write something in the comments, you dumb motherfuckers. Right? Much love. <laughs> <laughs> all we the best. Do this all day. <laughs>